Howdy! What is all that peeping and croaking that you can hear in the woods? Well, it means two things. One, spring is here. Two, there's water nearby. A special kind of water we call a vernal pool. Why are they mysterious? Splash along with us for a while and find out. And these vernal pools are more than just mud puddles. There's a lot going on out there, even in the spring before most trees even wake up. True. Ecologists call these puddles in the forest vernal pools because they're full of water only in the springtime each year. Vernal pools are pretty small, an acre or less in size and shallow. And because they're located in the woods, the bottom of the pool is usually lined with decaying leaves and you usually find lots of branches and other dead tree parts lying around in the water. All this dead and decaying stuff is great habitat for frogs, toads, salamanders, and other critters. Oh, you know, a lot of these creatures get up pretty early in the spring in order to escape their predators and their competitors. And most of the time, you're going to hear them long before you'll ever see them. Take a wood frog, just for example. They're the first, or among the first, to get busy in the spring. So many are gathering and calling at the same time that they're sometimes called an army of frogs. Sometimes they come out so early that they can even freeze one night and thaw out the next and still be alive. Other frogs and toads like vernal pools too, like spring peepers and American toads. And these toads sound a whole lot prettier than they look. So frogs are amphibians, right? Yep, yep, they are. Well, there are other quieter amphibians in vernal pools. Really? Like what? Like salamanders. Oh, like my auntie, salamander. One salamander species that really likes vernal pools is the blue spotted salamander. It's small and shy, hiding under logs and wet leaves until nightfall. It also uses the vernal pools to find mates and lay eggs. And if you look in these vernal pools, you might find some big clumps of frog eggs. And they look like a gooey glob of spotted jelly. The egg clumps are attached to twigs and other anchors under the water. These eggs have to hatch, and the emerging tadpoles must avoid hungry mouths and mature to adults before the vernal pool dries up. Fairy shrimp are also special residents in these pools. They are found only in these places where hungry fish mouths aren't around to snack on them. So wait, there are frogs, salamanders, and even shrimp in the forest? Mm, that, yes, that's right. And all these cool creatures simply mean that vernal hmm. pools are really special places in our forests. Hmm. Hey, it's summer and I hear there's a pool around here. Uh, let's go swimming! Wait, where's the water? It's all dried up! This must be a vernal pool. Oh! Since vernal pools aren't connected to any lakes or streams, and they dry out in the summer, fish can't survive in here. That's right, and if you look at this, this is a vernal pool that's dried up. The light colored up here was above the spring water. The darker colored leaves down here were under the spring water, and now there's no water. Luckily, these critters are adapted for this unique lifestyle. When the water in the pool disappears, the animals and other creatures have to pack up and go other places in the forest, or they must go dormant. They go to sleep until conditions in the pool are wet again. Fairy shrimp are very patient. They can stay dormant in the dry pools for several years until the right conditions return. And the next time you're in the woods and you hear that peeping and croaking going on, go find a vernal pool and do a little exploring. And don't be afraid to get your feet wet. <laughs>